Welcome once again. In this session, we are reading Acts chapter 9, verses 32 through to the end of the chapter, verse 43. Peter's Great Miracles. As Peter went throughout all those parts, he came down also to the saints who lived at Lydda. There he found a certain man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years because he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. Immediately he arose. All who lived at Lydda and in Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. And you see, this is one of the great purposes of miracles even today. God performs miracles, number one, because of his compassion, but also so that people would see and believe and turn to the Lord. Verse 36, Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which when translated means Dorcas. Dorcas is Greek for gazelle. This woman was full of good works and acts of mercy which she did. In those days she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. As Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him. It says here in the notes that the MT manuscripts omits two men. Imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Peter got up and went with them. When he had come, they brought him into the upper room. All the widows stood by him weeping and showing their coats and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out. You know, this is just like Jesus because, you see, when Jesus raised the dead, he also sent out those who were weeping and mourning and knelt down and prayed. Turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. Calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive. This became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Once again, these miracles are done for a reason, and many times the reason is so that many would believe. He stayed many days in Joppa with a tanner named Simon. Once again, I pray that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that God would give you the spirit of revelation such as you would never even imagine. Seek him and you will find him. If you seek him with all your heart, call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.